Sam's Club closing stores and employees say they had no clue until they showed up for work. What led to the decision when Walmart is boasting raises and bonuses? He was shot in a hair salon and then dropped dead on a stranger's porch. Tonight, the hunt for the killer in this bizarre crime. And he called Congressman John Lewis a racist pig. Now why this commissioner wants Gwinnett County to pay him $5 million. But first... An Alabama coach's playbook stolen two days before the national championship. Defensive line coach Carl Dunbar told police someone stole his backpack from a meeting room inside the Marriott Marquis on Saturday. Alabama, of course, beat UGA 26-23 in a heartbreaking loss for the dogs on Monday night. This past June, a thief targeted guests at this same hotel, stealing bags, stealing laptops just days before Dragon Con. Bathroom creep out and a Coney High School janitor under arrest accused of using his cell phone to snap pictures of students in the girls' bathroom. The school says Timothy Burnett was fired after he was arrested yesterday. If Kroger had better security, she wouldn't have been kidnapped and raped. That's what a University of West Georgia student is claiming in a new lawsuit. She says Timothy Wilson abducted her at knife point outside a Carrollton store. She was able to escape after using her cell phone to alert her boyfriend. Too vulgar to say on TV, the president taking heat tonight for allegedly using an obscenity to describe Haiti and a group of nations seeking an immigration deal. Sources inside the Oval Office meeting said President Trump questioned why we would want people from those countries in the United States. The White House issued a statement but did not directly deny the remarks. Welcome everyone, I'm Jeff Hullinger. The mood tonight, anger, frustration and disbelief after Sam's Club suddenly closes more than 80 stores without any warning. And we were there as workers and customers found out. This includes a store in Lithonia. This site's gonna close permanently. I am outraged. For this to happen like this without any warning or notice or whatever, I just, I'm still in shock. The whole store, this site is closed. Extremely sad, disappointed. It is a story you want to know more about, with thousands of you clicking on the story on our Facebook page tonight. Faith Bube has been holding the retailer for answers all day. And, and Faith, what is driving this decision right now? Well, this is basically a financial decision. A Walmart representative telling us that these stores are not doing as well as they had hoped. And according to Business Insider, 50 of these stores are shutting down completely. And about a dozen of them will be converted into distribution centers to fill online orders, which have drastically increased in the last few years, Jeff. So, Faith, what is the impact here in Metro Atlanta? So the impact here is huge. You have a community losing a big source of tax revenue. You have customers who are now inconvenienced by this, but most importantly, you have people who showed up to work today only to suddenly find out that they no longer have a job. And roughly 11,000 of those people across the U.S. today who are feeling the same way and about 175 of them right here in the metro area. We asked Walmart why they couldn't just give these people a heads up so they could plan their lives. And so far, we still don't have any answers tonight. Timing is everything in life and in business. And a lot of people on our Facebook page indicating that today Walmart announced it is increasing wages and now giving out bonuses. People like Frida are asking, is, is this how Walmart is making the raises and bonuses by going into the dark, closing the other stores and putting people out of a job? And Walmart is avoiding answering that question as well, despite the fact that many of us have the exact same question. But many of you are reaching that conclusion on your own. And tonight, if you live in Lithonia, there are other Sam's Clubs in the area, but it will take you at least 16 to 20 miles to get there. Yeah. And if you don't want to travel that far, you could ask for your membership fee to be refunded. Faith Abube, thank you. Sam's Club's loss is Costco's gain. That stock spiked this afternoon after the news broke, rising more than 2% to end the day up nearly four points. Racist pig. Remember this Facebook post from a Gwinnett County commissioner describing American legend Georgia Congressman John Lewis? Well, the comment ignited protests that stretched on for months with people demanding that Tommy Hunter step down. Now, Hunter is threatening a $5 million lawsuit against his fellow commissioners for publicly reprimanding him. Chris Hopper has been following the story for almost a year. Chris, $5 million, that is a lot. What is, what is Hunter's beef for demanding that amount? 
a violation of free speech. Here's the letter sent to the Gwinnett County Commission by Hunter's attorney. In essence, a threat to sue for five million bucks. Hunter claims his fellow commissioners tried to restrain, chill, and curtail his free speech privilege when they publicly reprimanded him for calling Congressman Lewis a racist pig. He believes they violated his first, fifth, sixth, and 14th Amendment rights. His spokesperson, Seth Weather, says the reason for the lawsuit is clear. They have permanently damaged Mr. Hunter's future employment opportunities. Remember, this was January 14, 2017, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Congressman John Lewis had called Donald Trump an illegitimate president. Hunter fired back on Facebook with the racist pig comment. For months, people called for Hunter to resign. They protested commissioner's meeting, pushed him to quit, but he never backed down. Gwinnett County filed a response to Hunter's threat, basically saying he has no case and they'll fight it hard. The attorney said the Gwinnett commissioner's response was its own form of protected expression. Hunter's spokesperson says the lawsuit is coming along as planned and will be filed accordingly. Remember, we just reported recently Hunter was in the hospital for a heart attack. He's since been released and is doing better. This story just won't go away. I'm Natisha Lance. You know, it wasn't that long ago that we sounded the alarm about little kids swallowing laundry detergent pods, mistaking them for candy. And now police are giving a new alert to parents. This time it's about their big kids. The Tide Challenge, that is what it's being called. It's spreading like crazy over social media. And from what we can tell, it started as an online joke with college students tempted to eat the pods. Now teens are trying to top it by posting pictures and videos of them putting the pods into their mouths and cooking with them. So why is this so dangerous? The chemicals in those pods can make you seriously sick. And if you don't believe us, then listen to this mother whose toddler ended up in the hospital after swallowing them. Holding her hand in her small, seemingly lifeless body, pumped with drugs, it was the most horrifying moment of my life. So parents, consider this your warning to talk to your children and maybe keep those pods out of their sight. And Jeff, it seems like teens are constantly, you have a teenager, I, I, it, it just seems like they're constantly trying to find new ways to freak their parents out. My kid's not stupid, though, you know. Yeah, <laughs> this is not, it's, it's, it's not it's, smart. It's hard to protect stupid, you know, and that is a really dumb thing to be doing. Right. I don't even know what you get out of this. It's no, just... I don't either. Well, you get some attention on local news, I guess. There you go. A search for a killer after a shooting at a hair salon. Why police may be one step closer to solving that mystery tonight.